Malicious compliance cost yearly £1 million per year. Was thinking to write about this for some time. So here it is. Apologies for the long post. This happened around 15 years back. I used to lead a back office process for a shared service center which wholly owned by a major European telco. The offshore unit was based of India. One of the processes that we had was SIM activation which was a manual process. New SIM card activation used to come in an Excel sheet which the team used to activate based on certain prerequisite checks. It was a 15-member team which worked 24-7. We came up with an idea to automate and using macros was able to automate almost 8,590% of the process. My stakeholder back in EU was happy and we were able to redeploy 12 members to different units. Outside my processes. Couple of months come our new compliance head. As a part of his induction we showed him our process and he was quick to point out the automation and how it was not compliant since it was not made by IT. Anyone who has worked in corporate knows IT turnaround for simple automation. He made us shut down the automation and manually restart the process. And we had to raise a request to IT to automate this. This was a Friday. During the weekend customer service received huge escalations and complaints. It was also not a good onboarding experience. The stakeholder was not happy and raised an escalation with the Indian management team. The head of compliance blamed us for not following process. I had already briefed the stakeholder on what transpired and he was supportive. After a week we got the IT team coming back to us stating that the entire automation would be done in a month's time and it would cost us around £20,000 using RPA. So the original free automation would now cost an extra 20k. The stakeholder was really not happy with the experience and vowed to move the process to third party. Eventually within a year my entire process moved to third party who did the automation free of cost. While people got redeployed, it still cost the offshore unit 1 million pounds which was the cost of my team every year. I choose to join the third party where the process moved and while leaving dropped an email on how the impulsiveness of the compliance head cost us our reputation and loss of business. He eventually got fired after 8 months. As an IT guy, I understand both sides. It's called, shadow IT. You had a problem that you fixed. IT now has an unknown system out there that the business is dependent on and will eventually find it the hard way. Hey the blanky blank is down. What's the blanky blank? Shadow IT projects don't follow any of the guidelines and rules for standard IT projects. They don't check for security flaws. Sometimes, they outright create security holes to function. There's a lot more reasons to not use shadow IT projects. But I don't want to write a thesis paper in the comments. I can see the reasoning. However I fail to see why they thought it would be a good idea to just arbitrarily shut it down. Right before a weekend. It works. It's been working. If there are concerns let IT evaluate and see if they can onboard it into any of their workflows or if they could review and sign off on it off seas. Friday is definitely not a good day to make any big changes. 15 years ago was 2008 WTF. Good for you. I have heard people call this the NIH or, not invented here, syndrome where people think, if we didn't invent it, it can't be any good. It sounds like your IT department had this attitude. A more sensible approach would have been to give IT a copy of your spreadsheet and macros and let them study them or test them and to let you carry on using it until IT came up with something better which they might never do. I don't see the malicious compliance here, just compliance. Maybe I'm missing something person shrugging. 
If you automate part of your job, never tell the higher-ups. Where's the malicious compliance? You created an unauthorized shadow system that, while it worked, could have opened the organization to data breaches, fines, audit findings, or other penalties, edited to include word, malicious. Proof that just because you're in management, doesn't mean you know what you're doing. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.